Okay, um, I'm, what I'd like to speak about is a book that um, particularly inspired me relating to the um, trade unionism. Uh, it's a book called Fame is the Spur uh, by an author called uh, Howard Spring, and it was written in 1940. Um, and I have a copy of it here, a very old one, um, from 1947, I think this one is. Um, and the, the basic storyline of the book is um, it covers uh, trade unionism and, and socialism in Britain um, from the mid 19th century uh, up to, so that's the late 1800s, up to the, around the 19, 1930s. Um, and the main character is a, uh, well, he starts off as a boy uh, called uh, John Hamer Shawcross, although he prefers to be called uh, Hamer Shawcross. Um, and he starts off as um, a, a studious, um, aspirational boy um, from a normal working class family, and it's uh, from Manchester in Ancoats, is, uh, which isn't too far from here. Um, and he becomes um, a, a socialist activist. Um, then a career politician, um, and he's eventually absorbed by the very, um, if you like, the, the upper classes or the establishment which he set out to oppose. Um, uh, and he, he, he convinces himself that he's maintained his values and principles, even though realistically in his actions as a, a career politician he, he, um, he opposes them. Um, and his, his, if you like, his uh, desire for so social status uh, causes him to, to sacrifice his friends and ideals, in, including his own wife, um, who ends up going to uh, prison, um, and she's part of the suffragette movement. Um, and the, the, the book, really, what, how you feel when you're reading the book is, um, obviously, you feel um, sympathy for... Uh, Hamer Shawcross's friends and um, associates along the way who stay true to their principles while he casts them aside for for status um, and, and power. Um, and um, it covers the, the area, it covers it particularly of interest as well, particularly for trade unions, is it covers the, uh, the birth of the Labour Party. And there are actually real historical characters that appear in the book as well. And it also covers the hardship of, of life for working families at that time. Um, it covers uh, the South Wales uh, coalfield areas, um, time after the First World War. Um, and it also covers the hardships and the treatments of the, of the, you know, the suffragettes as well. But it's all done very subtly. It's not quite as clear cut that. It's all very, very subtle. It's a very long book, so it slowly, it slowly creeps in to it. So what was it that particularly grabbed you? From the book, um, it's um, I, I found the um, because of the period of time that it covered, um, where you know the formation of trade unions and um, the birth of the Labour Party as well, and what um, it was you know why it was created, what it was created to do. I found that period very interesting, and there are also passages in the book where um, a young lad decides um, he's going to organise a group of workers. Um, so he goes down there, gets on his soapbox outside the factory and starts talking to them. And it talks about the difficulties that he faced um, while doing that um, and how he found it difficult. And he was actually, the first time he tried it, he was actually attacked by a gang of women who thought he was talking nonsense. Um, and I suppose in a way that is similar to, to, to my role, although I haven't been attacked <laughs> as of yet. Um, so that was, that was quite interesting. Um, and it also examines the, you know, the um, sort of like the principles of it, and how they, you know, those who, what happens to those who maintain them, and those who who, uh, who don't as well. So, do you see any parallels with sort of modern day? Um, <laughs> well, uh, there is. Without wanting to to criticise uh, people too much, uh, I guess there are. Um, I guess there are some similarities between um, modern. Uh, politicians today who start out as, um, if you like, uh, trade unionists um, and they, you know, f um, fighting for uh, working people and conditions and then they seem, that seems to fall by the wayside once they uh, get uh, a taste of, of power and become absorbed by the, um, if you like, by the establishment. 
So why would you recommend this book to other people? Uh, well, I would recommend this this book to other people because um, if you are a trade unionist and you're interested in what was going on around the time of the formation of the Labour Party and, um, and the you know the suffragette movement and that sort of thing, and also I think it hammers home um, um, a lot of the points it makes um, on on principles and why uh, we are trade unionists and what we do believe in, and that, that we shouldn't you know give up our beliefs. Um, you know, so easily because there is, um, this was this was set um, over a hundred years ago, and the, as, as you know, we're still uh, still struggling 